Our next guest is one of the most powerful and influential curators in the world of contemporary art. And over the course of her more than two decade long career, she's helped propel the careers of stars like Glenn Ligon, Chris Ophelia, Wangechi Mutu, and Kahinde Wiley. And today she joins us to discuss her illustrious career and her work as the director and chief curator at the Studio Museum of Harlem. Thelma Golden, welcome to Rise. Welcome, Hi, Thelma. Thank you all for so having good to me. Have, it's so good to have you here. Okay, so the Studio Museum opened in 1968. Mm -hmm. That's right. We are looking at, in a few years, celebrating our 50th anniversary. My goodness. So in 1968, incredible moment historically, the Studio Museum was founded in Harlem to create a museum devoted to the work of artists of African descent. Hmm. And that was the mission then. What's the mission now? The mission remains exactly the same. Hmm. You know, in some ways, our founders were so brilliant by creating such a clear mission mm. that they knew that on the one hand it served that moment, but that also it would live today. So our mm. mission is to present the work of artists of African descent locally, nationally, and internationally. Well, how do you think the institution has evolved over the years, and what role is it playing on the global art stage? Mm. Well, the museum has evolved because in our founding in 1968, there was a real attention at that mm -hmm. moment to thinking about changing the art world in the United States. Mm -hmm. The Studio Museum was an institution really created to rewrite art history, to show mm -hmm. the contributions of black artists to the greater art history. Over our intervening 46 years, the museum has evolved to really become a voice in the international art world, looking mm. at art by artists of African descent all over the globe, and bringing that work to Harlem, but also from Harlem, speaking about and presenting that work back to the rest of the world. Let's talk about Charles Gaines. There's yes. an exhibit, a retrospective of his work currently yes. at the Studio Museum. Why Mr. Gaines and why now? Well, Charles Gaines is an important pioneering artist. Mm. He's an artist whose work began in the late 60s, early 70s. Okay. We have an exhibition that really focuses deeply on the work that he made from the 70s to the late 80s. And the reason why we are doing it now is really the reason why we do all exhibitions, to provide an opportunity for this amazing, important voice and visual art to be seen, to create a dialogue through his work, and in his case in particular, to look at the real role he has had as an artist based in Southern California for most of his career, making work, but also as an educator, an mm. artist who has taught many other artists. For us, it's an opportunity to look at the way in which art is created, made, and understood. Well, why do you, what do you hope that visitors will get a gain from seeing his art? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, my hope always is that visitors have the opportunity to really be inspired by artwork, to mm -hmm. see what an artist does, to understand the world through their eyes, to perhaps begin to see differently through the works of art themselves, and also to understand the way in which art can speak both universally, but also very specifically, that the experience can be specific for every viewer. So that's what we hope viewers get from all exhibitions. Now, Thelma, it's hard to believe that you've been a curator for more than 25 years. Oh, I mean, wow. you look you, you look oh, like no. a child. Well, like, thank you for saying that today on my birthday. So. This is oh, your happy birthday. birthday. Happy it birthday. Is, it is. So I am, you know, yes. So thank you. You look great. <laughs> thank you. Yes. Well, how has the world of art changed since you first entered it in the late 80s? And oh. I mean, obviously, there's a lot more money floating around. I mean, yeah. these prices that some of these works are fetching mm -hmm. is just astronomical. Mm -hmm. But what for me has been most amazing is how the art world has widened and deepened. Mm. You know, when I began as a curator, I really was standing on the shoulders of some really pioneering art historians and curators who worked from, you know, all through the century to really give voice to black artists. And their work really opened the door for me to imagine myself as a curator who would really focus on presenting black artists. So really, I was continuing work that mm. was done when I began in the 80s and feel really privileged to th over this last 20 years to really be able to have worked with some of the most amazing artists in the present but also look back at the past and bring some of those stories to life. Do you think the art world is more welcoming of artists of color now? I think the art world is wider it's more global when we're talking about the art world there isn't one there are many art worlds mm. we are talking about an environment that really is speaking to the world at this mm -hmm. moment. So I think that, yes, those changes in the ability for us to have this international art conversation has certainly changed mm -hmm. the well, art world. Throughout your time at the museum, what do you think, which exhibit has made you the most proud? 
Oh, that is such... <laughs> and that's a tough question, a right? A hard <laughs> question for me, you know, mm -hmm. because as a curator, I have been so lucky to work on so many amazing exhibitions. And what for me is so interesting is I have learned from each one of them. Mm -hmm. Every single exhibition has given me an opportunity to learn more about art, more about myself as a curator, and to really have amazing dialogues with people. Um, all over the world about art and artists. I don't know if I can say that there's really one. I, I guess what I would say is I'm working towards that. Mm. I'm always working towards that okay. with each exhibition I make. We have to talk about 1994, the okay. year that Black Male, your seminal exhibit at the Whitney, mm -hmm. came to the world. Mm -hmm. It was a controversial birth, if you will, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it also made you an art world superstar. Did you have any idea how impactful that show would be? Mm -hmm. I went into the curating of blackmail hoping that I could make an exhibition that was rigorous and clear and focused in its ability to open up a wide conversation in the contemporary art world. It did that. Mm -hmm. And it did that. It did that. I had no idea, however, what that would really feel like. I did not have any idea of what it would mean to be in what is often thought of as the controversy, but really the gift of that controversy is that it really played out in thousands of dialogues, all that were about how powerful art can and is. Well, why do you think be. it was so controversial? Well, I think that the exhibition, which surveyed the work of almost 30 artists who were looking at the image of the black male as it had been presented in the media, was one that struck right at the heart of so much of what we talk about in American culture every day, mm -hmm. then and now. Mm -hmm. It was an exhibition that opened up many dialogues about identity in art, the place of art, how a museum could be at the forefront of a public conversation. So I think that really, more than anything, it was the way in which black male shifted the perspective and a certain debate. And for me, it really redefined the space of what it meant to be a curator. Well, mm -hmm. in, uh, in the catalog for that exhibit, mm -hmm. you wrote, quote, media fascination around black masculinity is always concentrated in three areas, sex, crime, and sports. Mm -hmm. Doesn't seem much has changed, Thelma. What do you think? <laughs> well, you know, this is why I'm a contemporary art curator, mm -hmm. because we can look at art from thousands of years ago and look at art made yesterday, and there's a way in which it comments on the past, the present, and the future. Mm -hmm. And so while black male, yes, came out of that particular moment where those ideas and those issues were really present in popular culture, in the media, in the current news of the day, it also, as I am now thinking about this anniversary of black male, black male opened in November of 94, so we're almost there, that exhibition could be made today. Absolutely. Mm. It's still so relevant. Mm -hmm. So take us back to when you first decided that you wanted to be a curator. Yeah. And when did you first get interested in the love of art? I first was interested in art um, by making art in school. Okay. Just taking art classes. I found the process of making art so interesting and rewarding. I never imagined I was very good at it, but around the time I was in fifth grade, I had an amazing teacher, Lucille Buck, who taught us art history. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Mrs. Buck, in her teaching of art history, also began what became a sort of normal sort of course of visits to museums as field trips. But for me, those visits really opened me to what museums really were like and were about. And that's when I decided that I wanted to spend my life working in a museum. And you also used to play the, bo the board game Masterpiece? Well, my brother and I were given the board game Masterpiece okay. as a gift by some friends of my, uh, my parents. And they gave it to my brother and I. And he wasn't so interested in it. So we never actually played it as the full game. But I became so compelled by the images, the artworks, right. that were part of the game itself, that those artworks, those cards, were really my beginning of thinking about artworks and the movement and placement of artworks as I hung, I hung them on the walls of my room as a little girl. So you were curator back then. I was. <laughs> I was definitely. Definitely. So we have to talk about fashion. Mm -hmm. Well, of course. Because okay. you always serve it. Okay. <laughs> and you're married to designer Dura Olawu. I am. Yeah, I one am. of Nigeria's finest. Yes. So what's it like living and being married to mm -hmm. someone who creates fabulous pieces yeah. of work, art, yeah. like this? 
Um, it's amazing. How, yes. It's amazing. You're it's, one of his muses. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. It's a great privilege. It's super fun. Yeah. But you know, I have always loved fashion and I've always thought of fashion designers as artists. So mm. some of my early engagements in learning about African American artists, for example, took me into the world of learning about African-American designers and I was thrilled to be able to make an exhibition many years ago of the work of Patrick Kelly. Mm -hmm. I knew and loved the work of designers like Stephen Burroughs yes. and Willie Smith and John Hagens when I and Jeffrey Banks when I was growing up. I really saw fashion as a creative enterprise. So it is not at all surprising to me, perhaps, <laughs> that I married a fashion designer because I've had so many years where I've been privileged to wear the work of designers I admire who I think are creative visionaries and mm -hmm. to be married to someone um, who works in that way also gives me inspiration every day because I get to see that creative process happening. Oh, mm, you're well, so lucky. <laughs> 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 I was like, I can only imagine. I can only imagine. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank it you is. for inspiring us through all of the work you all have at the Student Museum in Harlem. We really oh, appreciate it. It's, it's our privilege, and I hope that you all will visit or visit us through social media. Come visit the museum, see our exhibitions on view. It really would be oh, fantastic. Yeah, what's the website? Twitter our website is studiomuseum.org. On Twitter, we're at Studio Museum. On Instagram, we are at Studio Museum. I'm on Instagram at Thelma Golden. And really, though, we hope that everyone will come uptown and see us and see the Charles Gaines exhibition, our Artists in Residence exhibition, as well as our collection which is on view. Okay. All right. Thank We're you there. so much. Yes, you're, we are. All right. <laughs> and you're here, and you're watching Rise Entertainment 360.